Hi everybody, we love to talk about real world reviews here on TFL and today I think it's just about as real world as it gets. So I've got a pickup truck bed full of stuff that's actually a new chimney for the shop here on my family's property. But there's an issue, we showed up today thinking we'd be able to make it in, there's still a lot of snow on the ground. I'm not going to let it stop us though and that's because we have this baby right here. This truck beside me is the 2020 Ram Rebel with the 3 liter Eco Diesel. So in this video we're gonna take this ramp we're gonna try to drive through way too much snow and see if we can't deliver the goods and I'll show you guys what we're gonna be trying to make it through all of the that snow right over there we did come and try to clear the way with the tractor a little bit but mostly it's up to the rebel let's see if she can do it Before we try to get it through the snow and probably get it stuck, let's just take a look at the truck real quick and what the Rebel package brings. So first of all, a set of 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. Now this is not a winter tire, but it is a fairly aggressive all-terrain. You can see it's got some okay siping on it, so I anticipate it'll do, well, probably just okay, but we will see once we bury it in the snow. Now behind that tire hiding in there, there is a set of Bilstein shock absorbers you get Bilstein's all the way around on the Rebel. They also bring along a slight lift to this truck so you are getting a little bit more ground clearance out of your Rebel. Now besides that there's a bunch of styling stuff. So this Rebel we have here is finished in what I like to call uh, snow camouflage. <laughs> but what's really nice you get these blacked out badges. They really stand out on the white truck. And then from behind guys, this is really cool too, you still get that twin exhaust. I thought maybe the dual exhaust would go away on the diesel, but not so here on this Rebel. This is one cool looking truck. Now, one of the other things I really love style wise are these raised hood badges. It's just a beautiful badge, really cool that it's 3D and just a nice little touch on your Rebel. Now let's climb inside and I'll go over the rest of the off-road gear here on this half ton. Now on the inside, to control the 4x4 gear, it's all down here on the right hand side. Of course, this is your shift knob to put it into drive, back into park. There's two wheel drive, four high and four low, plus a neutral in the transfer case. And then down here you have hill descent control, which will control your speed going downhill without you needing to touch the gas or the brake. And then of course you do get a rear axle locker to make sure you can lock up your rear end when you're off road. All right, everybody, here we go. We've got it in four wheel drive high, and I'm gonna go ahead and lock up the rear end. Rear axle is locked, and uh, we're gonna give it a shot here. So I'm gonna start to roll. I do have a truck full of stuff too, so I don't wanna go too, too hard on it. Now my dad's got the camera. He's shooting me coming in here. Let's see what happens. Oh no, okay, she's chugging. This snow is thick though, guys. Oh, she's sinking, she's chugging. Okay, okay. The torque is there, yeah, okay, I'm building some momentum now. I'm not stopping, I'm not stopping. Keep it up, keep it up. Oh no, traction control, traction control. Okay, I shut it off. Oh, it was killing my power there, I was sinking, yes. Okay, whew. This is my safe zone one. Right here, there's not a lot of snow on the ground, um, but I made it through. So the dirt tracks did okay. This snow today, uh, it's had the chance to thaw out and refreeze, so it's really icy underneath. There's not a lot of grip there, but these things were just chugging through and just finding enough grip. Now the next section is even deeper. I don't know what this Rebel's gonna do, but let's see what happens. I might even go down into four low and really get that torque. Okay, now comes stage two for my safe section over to the barn. So I'm actually gonna go down into four low. I wanna make sure I'm getting maximum power out of this thing. And like I mentioned to you guys, traction control kicked in there and uh, actually cut my power. So in four low, that's not gonna happen. We're in four low, rear end is locked. Let's rock and roll, Rebel. Show me how it's done, dirt tracks. Oh, the torque. Oh, that diesel torque. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh guys, this is so deep. She's clawing, she's chewing. 
She's chewing. The power's staying up. No, oh, come on, come on. Keep chewing. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Dirt tracks. <laughs> Guys, I'm working the wheel and it's working. We're going to get there. Yes, we're going to get there. And the rebel is triumphant. <laughs> nice work, Ram Rebel, and especially these dirt tracks. Wow, man. All right, our trip through the snow was successful, which means now it's time to unload. And uh, I got something else to show you guys too. So this truck has Ram's new split tailgate. So the tailgate's damped, you drop it like that, it's a regular tailgate, but once you come up to it and you push down on the handle, this puppy swings open. And uh, for unloading our chimney here today, it's actually nice to be able to get right up to the edge of the tailgate and be able to reach into the back of the bed and get all our crap. All right, well, let's get unloading. Okay, we made it around here. Let's uh, give it a shot. Here comes round two. Now it should be easier, of course, because we've already been through, but I gotta start with this sharp turn. Come on, baby, turn. Oh, she's digging. Yes, dig, 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 dig. Yes, dirt tracks, nicely done. The lift is definitely helping right now too. And I'm in low, but having this eight speed and having the ability to allow it to shift really means I can get my wheel speed up. <laughs> Man, this Rebel is doing really great here, guys. I didn't really think it would make it through this much snow, and uh, it's killing it out here today. Now, I can't stress enough the type of snow we have. It's this really granular, sticky kind of snow, but it's very heavy. It's helping to give me traction for sure. Underneath it, there's a layer of ice, but there's just enough kind of stickiness to that snow that it's letting me get through. Um, but then you just can't discount the fact that I also have just loads of torque to get this thing moving, and uh, and then these dirt tracks. These dirt tracks are really clawing their way through. Uh, it's one degree celsius right now so of course it is pretty cold but they're holding their own out of here guys <laughs> i messed up my gopro the windshield wiper here we go all right, everybody, last leg out. Now, there's one other interesting thing I can try. When you actually go over into drive, in four-wheel drive low, it starts you off in second gear. There's so much torque here, it's actually already starting you in second. A great thing here on the Ram, though, I have a gear limit button here on the steering wheel. I've got a crank down into one. She's stuck in first. And let's make it out of here without needing the tractor. Oh, and without shifting, there's so much power. I want that wheel speed, though, so I'm gonna let her shift. Yes! Yes! <laughs> and stuck down in first, there's really a lot of jam there, wow. But that's the thing, it's doing great in second, and almost out, almost out, make it onto the road, and hello, we're free. Well, you know what guys, that was uh, impressive. I honestly did not expect to get out of that without using the toe strap in the tractor, but here I am, back on the road. So uh, this Rebel and the snow really did a great job. Uh, the lift helped to keep me up above the snow. The tires massively helped. All the torque here was right there when I needed it. Nice job, Rebel. And job's done. We're back on the road now, headed home. Uh, so what did we learn about the Rebel? Well, first of all, the dirt tracks were a lot better in the deep snow than even I expected them to be. Um, they were able to just claw their way through the white stuff and really hold it down. Now though, I'm curious to see how this truck is just when you're out cruising. And I got some pretty rough roads up north here. The winter time really chewed them up. And uh, I can tell you right off the bat that you do notice the difference with these Bilstein shocks. Now, we do not have the air suspension on this truck, so no airbags underneath, just the Bilsteins. And they're definitely a little more supple than the stock suspension here in the 1500. This truck already rides great because of the five link rear end and the coil springs in the back. There's no leaf springs back there. That's always made the Ram just a little bit more car-like, a little less chatter coming out of the rear end. And I would say all of those things are just amplified when you add these Bilsteins to the package. Now talking about the tires, like I said, off-road they did great. There is a trade-off though. They're not the quietest tire on the road. I'm just about to hit the highway right here and uh, let's see how she takes off. <laughs> okay. 
So my right rear right there hit the dirt and I absolutely spun out. <laughs> There's just so much torque coming out of this Eco Diesel. Uh, it really does get off the line pretty quickly, not bad at all. And then the other thing I'm noticing with this eight speed automatic, the smooth, the smooth shifts, the shifts here are just almost imperceptible. Really, really nice shift. Well, everybody, I made it back home with the Eco Diesel, and once again, I was really happy that today I didn't have to uh, hook up any recovery straps and pull this sucker out of the snow, and it did a great job delivering what we needed it to deliver. So guys, that's it for this one. Why don't you go below, leave a comment, hit like, hit subscribe, and then come right back here to the channel as we keep bringing you the latest news, views, and real-world reviews. See ya.